Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Welcome back to my channel, my loverlies. If you've never been here before, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I am so happy you found me. I do so hope that you will like and subscribe before you leave. Become part of the mama family. Mama's got your back, at least when makeup's concerned and definitely when that makeup is cheap. Guys, oh, I am so excited for today's video. I have been doing a little bit of retail therapy here recently and uh, it just kind of was like the perfect storm because Be Perfect Cosmetics had their 10 year anniversary sale. Uh, and during this 10 year anniversary sale uh, for 24 hours, every product on their website was under 10 pounds for their 10 year anniversary. So 10 pounds in you know American dollars re translates to 14. So I got each one of these products for $14 a piece. Now that is such a big, 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 big deal when it comes to Be Perfect Cosmetics because they're pretty freaking expensive. Uh, and to be able to purchase brand new, like straight from the manufacturer kind of uh, palettes at such an amazing price, it just does something to my blood in the best, best way possible. Uh, so I spent, I think I spent $75. I was able to get two palettes, two liquid eyeshadows, and a shaping stick. We're going to go through everything. I have everything sitting right here. Guys, you have no idea how much I love you because I legitimately have not opened or touched any of this yet. Uh, and I've had this sitting around since this morning. You have no idea how tempted I've been to like get in here and take the plastic off and just like, ugh, just touch everything. But I really wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, so sit back, relax, uh, you know, enjoy the video. Uh, get yourself a big old glass of sweet tea or a cup of hot coffee, maybe a snack, and let's dive in and discover some new makeup together. Uh, so the first things I want to talk about, I'm going to talk about the little things first, and then we'll get into the palettes. So I ordered two of the Be Perfect liquid eyeshadows. These are both from the Duochrome uh, Glitter line uh, collection. I am so excited. Uh, so I ordered two. This one is in the shade Ice Castle. And here is what the packaging looks like. It is so pretty. Uh, it's beautifully holographic. It's nice and sturdy. You can tell it's made out of like a thick cardstock. So it just feels more high end uh, than drugstore packaging. You open it up and out pops your little liquid eyeshadow. And this is what she looks like. I wish that my camera could show you the shifts and flips in this eyeshadow because it's absolutely stunning. Uh, this is the shade Ice Castle. We're gonna swatch it on the back. Mm -hmm. I am just, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. So there is it swatched. Okay, it is beautifully reflective, super, super thin uh, formula. It feels very wet and very watery. Uh, on the skin, which lets me know that A, it's going to dry down super quickly, and B, I'm not going to have to worry about it creasing, because once this sets, it's going to be set. But I want to show you guys, there is a gold to green to red, you guys can't see it, it's not like, it's like gold to pink to purple to green, it's in, oh, okay, can you see it just a little bit there, how it flips? That is absolutely just stunning. This is gorgeous. This was $14. I think originally, uh, I think they're, I think they're closer to, no, this was not $14. I was able to pick this up for $11, $11 and some odd cents. Uh, but I think originally they're closer to like 16 or 17. So super, super happy about that. Uh, and then I also got the shade, what shade is this? I also got the shade Mermaid. So can you guys, oh, okay, so you can see a little bit of the flip there. It goes from a deep turquoise to more of like a royal blue. And then it's also got a little bit of, I want to say purple and fuchsia in there. That is really, really pretty. 
Uh, these are not super pigmented. It doesn't seem like there's a really beautiful flip there, but they seem to be just more so much more so glitter than anything else. So I'm going to assume these are more of a topper formula, which I'm okay with, but that is mermaid swatched. Let me see if I can get you. So you can kind of see that green to blue teal kind of chroma flip there but there's also quite a bit of I want to say like a really beautiful deep uh, kind of purple in there as well that's really really pretty I like both of those I'm super excited for both of these I have been wanting to test a couple of these out for quite a while and I'm just very excited and very lucky uh, that I finally get to play with them I also ordered one of the shape sticks this is this says bronze and define. Uh, and the reason I the reason I got this and not another eyeshadow palette uh, is just because I have so many eyeshadow palettes and it's like I could always use another eyeshadow palette. Uh, but these bronzing sticks are one of those things uh, that I probably would never try again or probably wouldn't have tried in the first place. So I wanted to kind of push myself to get something just a little bit different instead of just getting another eyeshadow palette. And on top of that, I am, I love like cream bronzer and cream contour. Uh, and I've heard, I've heard equal things, good and bad about this product. So I kind of just wanted to try it out for myself. Uh, this is the bronze and define shape stick in the shade maple. So this is what the unicarton looks like. Very beautiful matte black packaging. And then you open it up. It does say the shade name on the top of the lid. Okay, so that's a really pretty component. Can you guys see that? That looks and feels very, very high, uh, like high quality. Uh, it feels luxurious and very high end. So it says be perfect sh uh, shape stick and then the product name. But I don't know if you guys can see there. Yeah, there we go. And it is triangular and like very different. I have never owned anything like this in my life. So this is what the actual color of it looks like. It's actually showing up quite a bit warmer on camera than it is in real life. Let's see. Well, why do I love that color? Why is that the most perfect cool toned contour color I've ever seen in my life? I, you guys, I was fully expecting to hate <laughs> to hate this. I was fully expecting to hate this. I was expecting it to be way too warm for me. Uh, and I was expecting to just be disappointed, right? That color is perfect. That is perfect. Do I think it's going to edge out my NYX contour stick, my NYX, one, uh, NYX wonder stick? I don't know about that, but for $14, I'm not mad about that at all whatsoever. And the freaking component is absolutely bonkers. That is so pretty. It's going to get so smudgy and so fingerprinty so quick. Love that though. Very, very happy with that. I was expecting not to like that at all. And that color is just blowing me away. Oh, I'm so happy. Everybody said that they were like way, way warm, like way warm toned. And I am not finding that at all. I like it. Okay, so we are on to the palettes now. And I got two different palettes. I got the Be Perfect Carnival, the Antidote palette. Guys, I am not a big neutral. Uh, I love my neutrals, but usually I don't get excited about neutral palettes. Um, this one I got excited for. Uh, this is literally a $60 palette, and I was able to get it for $14. To me, I just feel like it's absolutely insane. I'm so excited to open it though. So this is what the Unicarton looks like. Really, really beautiful. It is a big palette. It is a very, very large palette. Uh, it doesn't feel like exceptionally heavy, but it does, does feel sturdy and well-made. So I'm excited. This is my first Carnival palette ever. Uh, I do own a dupe by W7 of the Stacey Marie uh, Carnival 3, I believe. Um, but it's a dupe and it's not quite the real thing as much as I love it so, so much. Um, but this is my first real Carnival palette and I'm so excited. So on the back, you have the name again, you have the uh, entire color story. And then I think you've got, yeah, then you've got ingredients. And then of course, Stacy Marie's name right there. Let's open this up. 
Okay, so this is how it comes straight out of the box. It is beautifully wrapped and protected in a bubble wrap sleeve. Put that to the side. And then you get to the actual packet, uh, the actual palette, and it too is wrapped in a layer of plastic. It just lets you know that nobody has touched your palette. You are getting something that's brand new and only for you. And as much as I know plastic is a very bad thing, when you pay that much money for a palette like this, you kind of want the experience, right? You want to get it home and you want to open it like a gift. It's just, it just makes it just that much more, in my opinion. It's like another layer to unwrap before you can get to the present inside. I love it. Opening it up, putting that in the trash, and we are, it's just so pretty. It is so, so pretty it feels nice. You got a really nice, sturdy uh, cardboard packaging. Uh, it doesn't feel light in the hand at all, but it's not so heavy that you couldn't hold it while doing your makeup, which is like a real pro move. Uh, sometimes palettes are just like big palettes like this can be so heavy uh, that you can't you can't use it you can't hold it and especially if you're a working artist or working on a client it's really difficult to hold a palette that heavy uh, and not have your t uh, hand get tired so we're gonna open it for the first time oh my god it's so pretty and nothing's broke thank the lord so that's what it looks like when you open it for the first time uh there is this plastic over the the mirror. I'm going to fold the mirror back just a little bit so I can show you guys a close-up of the actual palette. So you have greens, uh, neutrals, and then warm tones. And it is absolutely stunning. This is even prettier in real life than I was expecting it to be. It is not very often that a palette kind of just kind of takes me aback a little bit. But wow, 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 wow. That is so incredibly beautiful. The greens are so much, they're murky and uh, grungy, but also bright and fresh at the same time. And then you have these ones down here and I'm looking at it, I'm breaking it down into rows of three. So greens, neutrals, and warm tones. And then you look at the warm tone side and you have this bright, beautiful, corally orange along with this gorgeous, gorgeous mustard. And then you have these beautiful kind of little pops of deep burgundy and uh, like rust colors. Oh, you've got burgundy and, and cranberry and maroon and mustard and like, oh, it just reminds me of Thanksgiving. It reminds me of the fall leaves. It reminds me of just brown sugar and warmth and that is just insanely insanely beautiful and then you look right down the center at the center three rows and it's just every day like if this palette was something that would overwhelm you I would highly recommend you start with this middle row because nothing is too warm and nothing is too uh nothing is too cool I would say it leans more toward the cooler uh sides of things but it's still neutral enough to not be super scary and then the mixture of both shimmers uh metallics and mattes in here is just it's beautiful. You can tell that this palette was beautifully thought out. Uh, it's amazingly well executed. The, th the color story has just got me like I could wax poetic about it for days. It's just so, so beautiful. But I definitely want to start sticking my fingers into some colors. So I'm going to go in to this shade right here, Nectar, just because I really want to swatch a a metallic. Oh, that feels really good. It feels super creamy. That's what it looks like on the finger. They are very, very creamy. They've got, oh, ho, ho. look at that reflect. Look how beautifully and richly, densely pigmented that is. That is like fully saturated, just like in your face yumminess. Let's go into uh, the shade. Uh, let's go into the shade Granite, which is a slightly deeper kind of jewel toned, uh, greeny, That is the most beautiful metallic moss shade of green that just looks like a forest floor in the middle of fall. That is stunning. Uh, let's go into a matte. Let's try this really gorgeous 
bright yellow. It is not mustard, it is yellow. It's a beautiful, beautiful Okay, yes. Uh, I am for sure going to go into this shade down here, Honey. I want to do Honey, Pin Up, and let's do this Spiced Coral. So Honey first. This looks like a really, really rich. Yeah, that's a really rich, like, honey. Like, well, it's named Honey. It's a very rich, like, honey gold color. So, so pretty. Let's go into the shade Pin Up which looks like a really deep copper. Mm, and let's go into the shade Spiced Coral. The mattes feel fantastic. Look how pigmented. And that's the matte. I mean, just yes. Yes, yes, yes. I am so excited. I cannot wait to dig into this palette, guys. Just wow, 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 wow. I am so in love with that. Uh, this might very quickly become my go-to fall palette. This is absolutely stunning. Uh, so the last thing that I was able to pick up in the sale is the Be Perfect Rain palette. So this was from, uh, this was by Makeup by Alina. Alina. Alina? Her right there. I don't want to mispronounce her name because I absolutely love the palette that she put together. So they collaborated with another influencer, uh, influencer and this is the Unicarton. Again, beautifully holographic, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous packaging. Uh, it feels nice and thick like cardstock. And then you get to the actual palette itself and it too is wrapped in another layer of plastic. I'm just going to take my tweezers And open up the plastic. The thing that intrigued me about this palette, I wanted this palette since uh, it, uh, since they debuted it or since they released it. Uh, and I saw a couple of people, uh, a couple of people re review it, uh, namely Makeup uh, Makeup Missa. She reviewed this and said she absolutely loved it. But it intrigued me because this one has glitter in it, and I've never used the Be Perfect glitter formula, so I'm excited to see how that goes. So this is what the actual packet, uh, the actual palette, looks like. So so pretty, and then it opens like this, and on each side. Oh, and look, even the can you all see that? Even the piece of plastic is pretty. It opens up like this, and on each side, you have a mirror. But what I thought was so cool about this palette is one of the mirrors is just a straight-up mirror, and then the other mirror is, oh, yeah, so this one is magnified, and this one's just a regular old mirror. I love that. I love that so, so much. And, of course, can you fold them back? You can fold them back so that it lays flat on his back, which I love, it is my favorite thing about cardboard packaging is you can fold, uh, you know, the edges back and it just lays beautifully flat on your desk. And this is the color story. <sighs> so it is technically, I think it's more or less a rainbow palette with a couple of neutrals thrown in just for fun. But this is a beautiful, beautiful rainbow color story. Uh, so there are four glitters in here. So this one. I'm sure you can see the glitters. So this one, this one, that pink and this blue are all glitters. I wonder how good the glitter formula is. Let's stick, I'm gonna stick my hands into that deep blue called Sorcery. So that's what it looks like. Definitely are not going, I think they might stick to the eye if you have a wet base, but I feel like these ones are probably gonna need a uh, a glitter glue or something like that to really adhere. I think the glitter is super pretty. It's um, it's a really deep blue with kind of lighter purpley fuchsia uh, flecks in it or different colored glitters in it. I'm trying to swatch that so that you guys can see it. It's nice and reflective. It's, I'm just going to have to show it on a sticky base. Uh, so 
eh about that, but I think the other colors in here are beautiful. I love all the greens that she picked, and then of course this shade right here, this is called Sage. This one has just got my heart doing all kinds of funny things. I want to swatch that really, really quick. So that's the shade, uh, this shade Sage. <laughs> Say that three times fast. And this is what it looks like swatched. That is the most yucky, toxic, kind of like boogery green I've ever seen in my life. And I am in love. I love it so, so much. You don't see, people are afraid to make ugly colors like this. People are afraid to make those ugly kind of mucky off colors. They just, you know, a lot of people don't want to wear them. But when people are brave enough to put a shade like that in a palette, it just makes my little heart so, so happy. Because that's what makes shades like that can turn like an ordinary look or like an ordinary cut crease into something so incredibly interesting just because the color of it it just becomes kind of oh I love it I love it I love it I love it uh, let's try out some of the shimmers in here though I highly doubt that they're going to be anything less than amazing let's go into ooh peacock right here looks really really pretty that looks like it might be a duochrome It's just a really gorgeous, super vivid green teal that is stunning. That is a stunning, stunning, bright, bright peacock green. Uh, let's go into, ooh, Taj. Taj is this really pretty kind of burnished copper color. I love colors like this. These shimmers feel so good. Oh, that color is just everything. That looks like a duochrome. That looks like a copper with a gold flip. Can you guys see that flip in there? How the reflect is more gold than it is copper. That's stunning. Uh, let's go into, let's do another matte. Let's go into Jasmine. I want to swatch Jasmine and then I want to swatch Divine, which is this gorgeous like khaki green color. So Jasmine is more of like a minty teal and it is a matte. Let's get a nice swatch of that that's really pretty it's got more of a white bite of a white base so it's a little bit more pastel than the other colors but i like that kind of contrast because all uh you know most of the other colors in here are so bright uh that that past those pastel little pops really help to keep things interesting and let's do that was divine really really gorgeous like khaki green color oh oh okay guys i'm gonna quit fawning over this new makeup but i am telling you i am so happy i am so happy i am so excited i cannot wait to play with all of this stuff i'm just absolutely losing my mind about it uh all in all, I am super happy with everything that I picked up. Uh, like I said, I got two palettes, two liquid eyeshadows, and a contour stick. And I got that all for $75. Um, I think it was less than $75, but I'm kind of rounding up. Uh, and that included uh, taxes and shipping. So all in all, I think I got a really, really great deal. Uh, this is like hundreds of dollars worth of makeup right here for less than 75. So there's, there's no get up in my go right now. I'm just absolutely over the moon. Um, I think my favorite thing is definitely going to be the carnival palette just because this color story just is so perfect uh, and it is so seasonally perfect for this time of year. I'm just I'm so so stoked about it. It feels nice. It looks nice. I can't wait to use it. Uh, my second favorite of is of course gonna have to be the rain palette. I'm I'm I am a palette addict and there is no shame in my game. Uh, between the liquid highlights and the contour stick, I want to say that I'm pretty impressed with the liquid the liquid highlights, the liquid eyeshadows. I think they're really, really pretty. Um, again, there's both of them swatched. Oh, now that they're completely dried down, let's rub over them and see if they're going to go anywhere. Guys, those are stuck. Maybe a little bit came off from that edge, but guys, those are on there. So yeah, these are not going to smudge. They're not going to crease. They're just going to go on and be like this impenetrable layer of absolute sparkle and shine on the eyes. 
very excited to play with these. Uh, definitely not as pigmented and opaque as I would have liked them to be, uh, but very, very happy with them nonetheless. And then last but not least, we have the shaping stick. Uh, oh, I rubbed a lot of that shaping stick off though. Um, I am super impressed with that color. Uh, it seems to be nice and creamy. Let's see if it's been sitting on my hand for absolutely ever. Let's see if it still blends out. Yeah. So that's what it looks like blended out. Is that not the most beautifully perfect kind of uh, slightly warming sculpting shade? I am just, I'm in heaven. I cannot wait to use that. Guys, we are going to put all of this. I am going to put uh, some of this in a video coming very, very shortly. Uh, but I am going to play with it a little bit today. Kind of get a feel for everything. Uh, and I will let you guys know uh, in the description box or in a later video uh, how I really feel about everything. But at this point, I am super excited. I am so happy with everything I purchased. Guys, I love you so, so very much. I hope you are having a fantastic, amazing, uh, wonderful day. Uh, I hope you know that I love you so, so very much. I'll put everything that I talked about in today's video in the description box below, along with the links to my other socials, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff. If you guys aren't following me everywhere, you definitely need to go do that. I post fun content every single day. So if you're following me everywhere, you don't have to worry about missing a single moment of it. As always, no filters, no edits, no fancy lighting. It's just me sitting in front of my camera, playing with some new makeup, hoping you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. And until next time, I love you so, so very much. Stay safe, take care of yourselves, and remember, you're important. Bye.